is this the one we're doing here? It is. It's the one, okay? All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do my take on it, okay? This is the this is the the Demon Mama version. The Demon Mama special. Oh, hey. The director's cut. Let's do it. Let's fucking make it happen now. Hold on, I got to put myself down into the normal location down here. Let's do it. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My pronouns are that bitch. That bitch pronoun merch on sale now. What are your that's not even a good joke. That's not even a good joke, Blair. That doesn't even make sense. Hang on, Bella. Really? I think she just called me. What the fuck? Sorry, uh, Laura. I know we've talked it's about a lot of things. Thanks for coming by and thanks for all, all you do. Go get some rest, all right? Um, what was the fucking right-wing audio there? Did anybody else catch that? Am I just being a picky? Listen. I think she just called me a man. Today we're diving in. What? Oh, no. Oh, God. Blair White. Oh, she's, she's, she's snapped. She's done for. Now she's just calling her, oh my god, she's just doing transphobia at herself now. Oh my god, that one debate must have completely broken her. Oh god. To a trans topic that I have not touched. Blair, you're so sad. You're so unbelievably sad. Upon. Surprising. We're talking about neo pronouns today. Now, if you don't know what neo pronouns are, I learned like three days ago, so don't feel bad. So, according to Miss Google, neo pronouns are a category of new neo pronouns that are increasingly used in place of she, he, or they when referring to a person. So, some examples that we have here are bug and bug self, it and itself. That one's a little degrading. Bun and bun self when you're like a bunny and tree and tree self there are more but those are the most popular ones so if you're lie that's just an objective lie by the way um the bun bun self it itself bug bug self these are not the most popular ones that is just a flat lie sorry Thinking you're Blair, just a that liar. Is absolute bullshit the easily I, I i i i would say that the most popular would be z zer um but definitely not bug self. I have, uh, like, Fay Fair is maybe a close second. Like, uh, isn't this face, this face is just kind of like, this right here, this goddamn face right here is, oh, oh, like, this is just so emblematic. This is the existential horror of Blair White's existence. Jesus Christ. And no one actually uses those pronouns. I wish that were the truth. How much do you want to bet you're wrong? So actor Keenan Lonsdale, better known for his work on The Flash and- Oh no, a Nickelodeon actor disagrees with me. It's the end of the world. Have you ever noticed something? Have you ever noticed how conservatives, the only way they seem to be able to get it up these days, the only way that they seem to be able to, to get their anger going is to get mad about- the actors in children's shows and children's toys. It's like, it's almost like serial watching of, 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 of Fox News during the Trump era has literally made them turn into toddlers. Like they're just children. They're like, ooh, Nickelodeon actors and Mr. Potato Head and, um, and that's it. And, oh no, the d children's alphabet book. Whee! It's, it's actually pathetic. Quick question. What is the difference between they, them, z, zer, and z, zem? Spelling. <laughs> I'm serious. It's spelling. It's the spelling. There are different things that refer to different preferences. It's that simple. And Love, Simon, both shows that I have not watched, came out and identified his new pronouns that he wants everyone to use for him, which are tree and tree self. In an interview, he said, I want people to call me tree because we all come from trees. True, so it doesn't though. matter if you're a he or a she or a they or a them. I thought we all came from monkeys. At the end of the day, everyone's a tree. 
I want to call my friends tree and me tree and everyone tree. So my first thought is that I want whatever tree he's smoking. That's not <laughs> you stole the joke from him. Watch this. Want to see how I'm about to blow your minds. Look at this. I'm not high, by the way. This is just me. She stole his joke and thought we wouldn't notice. She didn't even make an original joke. Lame. Lame. Tree. I want to call- Oh, God! Call my friends tree and me tree and everyone tree. So, my first thought is that I want whatever tree he's smoking. I think X- I think that's supposed to be she- No, I don't know. If that was Chinese, it would be she- Shem? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. You know what? Fuck. Who cares? Right now. Who cares right now? We're not talking about that right now. We're not fucking talking about that right now, okay? You- What you're arguing about with me right now in chat is the pronunciation. Which lettering is the better choice? Not the validity of the pronouns themselves, okay? We- The concept of neo-pronouns. Okay. It's education time for the future YouTube viewers. For those of you who haven't caught this whole stream, I'm gonna tell you something cool about pronouns, okay? Ready? Watch this, okay? I'm gonna blow your minds, okay? Pronouns in English are instilled with gender for basically no reason at all. They're, it's not even that helpful. If we wanted to, we could come up with pronouns that would actually be more useful in language. Like, holy shit, imagine if there were, was like some sort of linguistic shorthand that would let you figure out who the fuck you're talking about when there's three dudes in a room, okay? Imagine there's three white guys. I did this earlier, but I'm doing it again, so deal with it. Um, imagine there's three white guys in a room, right? And you go, yo, uh, that's John, that's Tim, and that's Tom. And you wanted to talk about he has to go to the bathroom. Which one of them am I talking about? Oh shit, that gendered pronoun only tells you one thing. It only tells you I'm talking about a gendered person. It doesn't tell you any other traits about them. But it, guess what? We could, we could come up with words that do that. What if we had a word called like him or him? And that would mean man with a hat. Then all of a sudden, if Timmy is the only one wearing a hat, and I say, he -im needs to go to the bathroom, all of a sudden, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. Bam. We don't have those, okay? Neo-pronouns are an attempt to address some limitations of English gendered pronouns, okay? So for example, what if you are neither male nor female what if you are neither man nor woman what if you are non-binary well then you could use something like z zer you could use they them if you wanted to but if you didn't want to use they them for whatever reason we could come up with a very simple thing like z zer to use in in exchange and, and the cool thing about this is that language evolves all the time. So there's really no reason we should worry about it um, at all, right? Because think about it like this, right? Like, um, he, z, is, is that really that hard to integrate into your... I mean, we do this all the time, right? Watch this. I'm going to tell you a magical word that didn't exist 10 years ago that if you went, traveled back in time 10 years and you said this, people would look at you like a fucking idiot. Are you ready? I'm about to blow your goddamn minds. Ready, YouTubers? Poggers! Holy shit, that echoed so loud. I yelled that so loud, it echoed in my guitar at me. If you went back in, in time to... 10 years ago and said pog to anybody like yo you're so pog they would be like what did you just say but today i literally say it 
all the time. That's because you've heard this rant before, Posadas John. Mars Blue. What can you define to me what the difference between slang and new languages? Real quick. I, I want to challenge you, Mars Blue. Can you tell me what the difference between new linguist new language and slang is? Dun 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 da 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 You don't have an answer because there isn't one. Slang is always the beginning of new language. And sometimes it dies off and other times it doesn't. It's just time. It's just time and, and adoption. That there's no difference. Secret, secret, slang is no different than new language. Not even formalization. There are things that we use all the time right now that are that never were formalized. They just got broadly accepted because they were around for a lot longer. And guess what? I hate to tell you this, but 10 years from now, that's probably going to be the case with neo pronouns. And people people are going to look back and go, "Wait a minute. You motherfuckers made a big you you motherfuckers made a big deal about saying Z two letters next to each other? Really? That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Oh, um, I'm really sorry to hear that, the radical left. I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, well, anyway, let's continue. You're on the good shit. You can My DM second me about thought it is that this is to. highly narcissistic behavior. And no one ever really... Oh, that's rich. Oh, that's rich. Fucking narcissist accusations of narcissism from Blair White. Listen, I don't know. Look, okay, all right, listen. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Blair isn't a narcissist anymore. After that, after that panel in which she endured rabid transphobia to the face and just took it like a sad dog. Uh, like Jesus Christ. Maybe that broke. Maybe that took. Maybe she doesn't have an ego anymore. Maybe her ego shattered into pieces after that, and now she's just like, I, I know it. I use. I'm a reformed narcissist. Sorry, I don't know. Uh, I, I missed what you were saying, Edith. It brings up narcissism when it comes to people who want people to call them doll and doll self and use these crazy pronouns that really just don't align with how human beings speak about other human beings. Like, there is so much narcissism that goes into that. If you This is unironically indistinguishable from an argument that people could make about trans people asking for their pr pr preferred pronouns, which is funny because, you know, Blair White will try to assert that um that that is somehow different but yet when right winger when her compatriots when her fellow right wingers talk to her and they misgender her she doesn't do anything about it because at the end of the day blair white doesn't see herself as a valid person and that's very very sad but that's why part of the reason why her arguments here are just totally garbage because blair white doesn't even see herself as valid why should you be taking her word on anything to do with any new concept? It is just so sad. It is so sad. You expect everyone around you to alter the language in which they use for human beings, not even just for genders, because I remember when I first came out as transgender and my parents and my family and stuff, like they had, you know, it was a process to come around to using she all the time. Now they do, obviously, but in the beginning, it takes some time to go from he to she, but to go from like normal human interactions and human language to be like, hey, tree self. Normal, normal human interaction and normal human language. Blair, Blair, I don't know. Hey, Blair, I don't know if you know this, but the word tree is a pre-existing human word, an English word, and guess what? All language is human language. Now, normal is a really loaded word, and I know that you're just dying, you're just chomping, chomping at the bit to be able to call people weird degenerates or whatever, but that would be a little too mask off for you. So, yeah. Hey, girl, that's ill. It's very much serving the same energy as like, Pick out the red and yellow M&Ms for me, darling. Like, it's very that. And my next thought... No, not really. 
No, not really. See, the funny thing is, there's this, um, and I know we're, we're pausing. I'm doing the pause champ thing. Um, <sighs> the idea that every trans person is like a, a ticking time bomb waiting to blow up about pronouns. Like, first of all, I have never met someone. I have never. Now, listen. Uh, it, 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 it. I have never in my entire life, and I'm very well connected, okay? I know a lot of I know a lot of queer folk, okay? I know a lot of trans people. I know a lot of neo pronoun users. I know. What a surprise, right? What a big surprise that Demon Mama is well connected in, in trans communities. It's true. Um But I have never, ever, not once in my life have I ever heard someone get mad, even slightly, about their neo pronouns not being used. People who adopt neo pronouns are so fucking patient. So motherfucking patient. So... Yeah, I just don't buy it. This idea that there's just like a bunch of people who are waiting to go, Oh, you didn't use cup cup self or whatever other thing you want to come up with. Yeah, they expect it to not be used, so they just grin and bear it. That's something we talked about earlier too, Vermin, right? So many people... Um, so many people are, are so invested, um, or, 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 sorry, not invested. They are so used to not being respected that they don't even try. So the, it's actually the opposite problem. It's not that trans people freak out all the time about pronouns. It's that they've, a lot of trans people have just given up. Let's continue. But on that is we really need to at some point have a discussion for the expectation for me as a trans person and not even just me let's talk about trans people in general everyone hates when i use me as an example even though i am trans so like it's like why shouldn't i you're a tr you're a self-hating trans person blair let's just be completely honest you're a self-hating trans person you opened this you opened this video making a joke about about yourself not being a woman you opened that is the level that is a level of self degradation that is pathetically sad so like you said that it's dehumanizing for people to use it its consensually on their on their own volition but you open your stream your video i shouldn't say your stream you open your video by calling yourself not a woman i feel like there might be some i feel like blair might not again be the most trustworthy person on what is humiliating and not humiliating okay um the expectation for trans people to not only accept but view and regurgitate this sort of thing as comparable to their own experience right like the expectation oh, for agree, actual Berman. trans people to view identifying as a fucking tree no, as no, 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 still no, no, no. falling they're not identifying as a tree. They just like those pronouns. See, because like the Chad that they are, they have recognized that pronouns are an incredibly, uh, an incredibly weak part of our language in which, uh, do I really have to explain? I feel like I have to double, I feel like I have to double down on this discussion all the time, okay? Behold, behold, the streamer shelf. Behold, okay? On this shelf, it is a, it is a, it serves no other purpose than to, to hold items of personal significance, okay? I got books, I got cute little figurines, I got hats, I got everything, I got books, I got everything, right? This is an arbitrary backdrop that serves to allow me to express myself. Humans love expressing themselves, okay? They love expressing themselves. We put pins on our jackets. We put stickers on our purses. We put stickers on our fridge. We put bumper stickers on our car for no reason other than expressing ourselves. And if people decide that it, they are interested in expressing themselves through their pronouns, which is a very simple and easy to adjust part of our language. Why do you care? Unless you're a triggered little snowflake, which you are. 
but Giga Chad Neo pronoun users, Giga Chad Neo pronoun users recognize that they can decorate their own language if they so desire it. Under the trans umbrella and like we're still the same, like that's an insult. Does the struggle really mean anything if it can just be boiled down to like the same thing as hi, I'm a tree? So something I've noticed upon researching Neo pronouns and who exactly uses them through TikTok, because where else of course would people use these pronouns but TikTok. It's almost overwhelmingly exclusively like teenagers using them. No, teenagers you're right being now. like my pronouns are vamp and vamp self because they want to be fucking vampires. We're talking young teenagers like you know like James Charles victims age that yeah. So obviously <laughs> I didn't want to put like my. All right. All right. Listen I know everybody's laughed at that one. You got one good one Blair. You wrote one good joke. You wrote one good joke Blair. But also who cares? Who fucking cares? First of all, Blair doesn't understand that pronoun like flair doesn't mean like that you actually think you're a vampire. It's just an aesthetic preference in this particular case. Think about this. Have you ever been on a website? Whoa, I got a good one. Whoa, I got a real good one. Has anyone here heard of Reddit? Oh God, can I get some, oh, Reddit moment. Reddit, oh, I'm, 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 I'm soy facing. I'm soy facing Reddit, right? Um, on Reddit, you can, you, you can get flair. Have you ever heard of that? You can dress up your username with little stickers. I can't do this soy face. It's like that. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, you can put little flair on there and and it serves no purpose other than distinguishing you from someone else discord colors and tags we do this everywhere there is no difference at all there is no difference at all between that and people who choose uh particularly aesthetic ne pro neo pronouns and i agree to a certain degree that if somebody is like, uh, yes, my pronouns are Yoki Kajajul, Yellow Falls, Shawaka. And that's their fucking, that's their fucking pronoun. That would be kind of hard to do. And if they freaked out at you and said that you were transphobic because, um, that very complicated noise that I cannot even replicate, um, if, if, if that, if that was their pronoun and they decided to, um, to freak out at you about that, that would probably be a little un unreasonable. But come on, does that actually happen? Is this a problem? Does this ever happen? I ha I doubt it. I I I highly doubt it. I have a big a big outed. Miners on here and be like, what are you doing? Um, because you know what they're doing. It's like it's it's just it's the new emo. It really is. And frankly, if anyone here knows what I look like in high school, it's not that much of a motherfucking stretch to think I would have probably if. Neo pronouns were like a trend when I was in high school. Use them. Although I don't. Oh, self censoring Blair. Self censoring Blair. Self censoring Blair. Blair would have been a neo pronouner, but 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 she self censored because she's scared. Vermin says I had a coworker who first day asked everyone to call her princess or princessa, and first everyone was like, "You're weird." But then it stuck, and I think her act her like real name was Melissa. But calling her princess was kind of cute. Yeah, who can what? That's kind of pog. That's kind of pog, right? Being able to t to say, "Hey, like, look, everybody, what's my name? Do we all know what my name is? It's Demon Mama. My name is Demon Mama. You all know me as Demon Mama. Mama, DM, DMM. You got a bunch of nicknames for me. I go my many names." And nobody cares. Nobody cares. Because as it turns out, it's not very hard for us to just accept what people want to be called. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah, you're vermin. Exactly. I remember when people were anti labels. Now it's like collecting labels like they're fucking Pokemon. Like, I don't know. But they're definitely. That's not a label, Blair. That's not a label, you idiot. Yeah, the chatter noise. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely some adults who use them. Meet Bunny. 
Wait, yeah. wait. So what makes Neo pronouns exclusive to trans people? They're not exclusive to trans people. Here we go. The enlightened take. They're not exclusive to trans people. They never have been. Let's continue. Bunny. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the part where Blair White puts on someone. Now watch this. What we're going to do, what I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to dispel the illusion for you all. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to dispel the magic of Blair White's channel. Here's what Blair White does. Blair White will always, without context, put someone on screen that she personally thinks looks cringy or ugly and then tries to frame them as an example of what she doesn't like. But what she's actually doing is just making a dice roll on the fact that her audience will probably also think that they're dumb or ugly or whatever and agree with her because all that Blair White has is disgust. All that Blair White's audience has is disgust. And the worst part about all of it, the saddest part about all of it, is that it doesn't even stop for Blair. Blair is disgusted at herself. She's consumed by it. And you can see it in every piece of content that she makes. She is consumed by her own hatred. By her own disgust at herself. And it's so fucking sad. Oh God, it's so sad. My name is Bunny and I use bun pronouns. Bun pronouns are a form of neo-pronoun. Outside of he and she pronouns, there's a whole world of neo this pronouns audio that can be used. In my case, mine are based off of bunny. So instead of she, her, hers, herself, it's bun, bun, buns, oneself. So the thing is, do not go and like send this person any hate. I'm gonna. Why would you even bother showing them? Why would you bother showing them at all? Why? Why? Unless, oh, oh, uh, unless you don't actually mean it. Unless you don't actually mean it. Remove their at so that doesn't happen. Because I think to anyone who can watch this TikTok, it's very clear this person is probably struggling with like some other issues, right? Why? Because why? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? What would make you say that? Is it that you don't think they look good, Blair? That makes them um that makes them troubled? Is it because you don't think they look good, Blair? Is it because you think what is it? There's nothing about this video that indicates this person has any issues. In fact, this seems like a pretty chill, explanatory TikTok. Like what? It's it's like whatever. Oneself. So the thing is, do not go and like send this person any Hate. Yeah, bun, ad, like, so that yeah, bun just a person existing. I think to anyone who can watch this TikTok, it's very clear this person is probably struggling with like some other issues, right? The only point to be made here is that not all issues need to be validated. At what point when you're making people refer to you as a rabbit, do people who like- uh, Excuse me, bunny. Bun. Bun. Like love you, be like- And okay, also make you? No. What the fuck? How do these, this is what I'm talking about when I say conservatives are snowflakes. Like, this is what I'm talking about when conservatives are snowflakes. Blair is just freaking out. There was no, there was no demand. There was nothing. Bunny was just asking nicely and explaining their perspective in a perfectly calm format. And it's Blair who's having the meltdown over it. Weird, isn't it? A little weird how that works, huh? Listen, we know you're going through something, but you're not allowed to just put your issues on everyone else around you. You can't just put You mean like you're, you're, you're literally doing right now, Blair? You mean like you're literally doing right now? You are blasting. You are like vomiting your personal problems, your personal self-hate out into the world. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hey, Forest Goblin, thank you very, very much for the gifted tier one subs. Five of the gifted tier one subs. Thank you very, very much. Really appreciate that. Going through on 
strangers throughout the world to call you a bunny and like what you're neglecting the issues that you need to really be dealing with and replacing it i really i really need to tell you you're neglect i'm really worried about you i'm like i'm gonna i'm gonna talk down to you listen let me le let me lecture you hi my name is blair white my name is my name is blair white i'm gonna lecture you about my issue like like you need to not be doing that like come on blair holy fucking shit who the fuck are you who asked any askers who asked any askers i don't hear any askers no one asked with policing people and how they talk to you and like micromanaging the way in which people speak all around you if anyone ever asked me to refer to them as a bunny i would just reply with oh baby that's your problem I gotta go no i don't have time to you mean the exact same way that conservatives would react to trans people yes you are literally you are literally replicating the exact the exact tactics that would be used against you and your trans brothers sisters and fellow uh non-binaries there you go you know dive into this particular endeavor with you but i'm gonna pray for you I have, though, known one person in my life who goes by Z Zer, and little story. Ah, uh, yes, this is also Lauren Southern's one friend. This is the this is the this is the friend, right? The, every I think I think Vosh also called this out that it seems like every conservative knows the exact same person, and this person, watch, just listen to this. Ready? Yeah. Hold on. I, I I happen to know what what this particular example is because I saw this particular section earlier. Hold on a second. Watch. It's go they're going to ring every single bell. Okay. Hold on. I need to show you something real quick before we go any further. I need I need to show you something. Have you ever seen? Hold on. Um, this is the one. This is the one. Watch this shit. This right here is the meme that I'm talking about. Ready? This. This is the one. Oh, my God. This is the one. How do I? Here we go. Here we go. Have you ever seen this? Neuron activation. Monkey sees action. Neuron activation. This right here is all of of conservative content. They 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 do this, but this is the conservative and then here is over here is a, a buzzword that they recognize, like gender ideology, marxist, chinese communist, transgenderism. Uh in this case it's going to be detransitioner. There's a whole bunch just list right here a handful of buzzwords Like, like literally, like a list of buzzwords and then their brains go, oh, I recognize that because most people who watch Blair White videos that aren't like, like people like myself who are trying to take them, take them apart are their brains have already shut off and they're just waiting for certain activation words that gives them a twitch of serotonin. So there was this guy that I knew he transitioned from a girl to a guy. This was in college from a girl to a guy, regretted it, tried to transition back couldn't really reverse a lot of the stuff and so eventually came to like a compromise where he was existing as like a zzer not like a he or a compromise so literally first of all blair i have a feeling you your friend deserves your friend deserves better friends z deserves significantly better friends than you because the way that you're treating this person this friend is not very good you're like literally just shit like like shellacking them on the internet about how oh well they fa they failed that transition or whatever fuck you fuck you or she like a z or a zer right and i don't know the way i am is like i'm probably yeah, um... not going to try to talk to you if you have these types of pronouns because i know i'm going to slip up and like i'm not trying to like have a confrontation with someone because i'm not calling them z -zer or bunny and bunny and frog like cantaloupe watermelon microphone whatever but we had mutual that's not even funny like again just not funny 90 percent of the time blair just isn't funny friends so he came over to my townhouse in college for a party i used to throw the most banger parties oh my god nope untrue false listen I can tell you this. 
I used to be so cool. I used to throw the best parties back in the day. You mean, wait, was that back in the phase when you when you had colored hair before you dried up and became a a self-hating wretch? Here's a good question. I get kind of confused with neo pronouns when it comes to linguistics. In English, at least, we don't don't speak any other languages fluently. But how can we use a noun such as tree as a pronoun? Neither he, she, or they is a noun in the same way, only a pronoun. Instead of having nine reflexive pronouns or five in Spanish, we would literally have an infinite amount. I want to re respect people's preferred pronouns, but if it is adopted by many people, it seems like it would become very unsustainable. That's the same idea. That's the same idea. Like that. If you, th oh my God, if you think you can't handle people using pro multiple pronouns, how the hell do you even comprehend language at all? There are new words added every single day. You pick up new terms every single day. It's not unsustainable. You're just, a f you're just coming up, like you're just resisting it. You're just resisting it. Think about this. What if somebody's name was Shay? Shay, like this, ready? Shay. Shay. S-H-E. Shay. That is the same spelling. Could even be mispronounced as she. It's now a noun. Congratulations. Okay, like, what? It's not... It's not... It's fine. Like, what the fuck? Shirt man bad? Shirt man bad? Oh, you're, you're catching up, I see. Shea butter. Yeah, look, listen. What I'm saying is, look, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just, this is my style, okay? Listen, I'm not mad at you, okay? I'm not mad at you at all, uh, atheist baby. It's just, the fact of the matter is, it's not unsustainable. In reality, there might be infinite pronouns, but who cares? The whole point, the point of a pronoun is to, is to make our language a little bit faster to communicate. That's just, that's just all. Well, uh, PhD Pug, earlier today, uh, earlier today, I did a response to Vosh, and it, I think you'll find it was very good. It'll be, it'll be going up on the channel, but you can catch the VOD on my YouTube channel immediately after stream if you want to watch my segment. I think I did pretty goddamn good, personally. Yeah, or Shea Grovar, whatever. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. It's, it's, yeah, listen, it's fine. I promise you, we will never become overloaded with pronouns. I promise you. We will, it will never happen. We will never become overloaded. Our brains... The human brain is an organic blob designed to f to store so much information that you can't even comprehend it. Yeah, him. Yeah, what about him? Did you know that the Bible uses a pronoun as a proper noun and a and a proper noun as a pronoun? The Bible referring to God with the capital H him, his will. Bing. There we go. Let's continue. And within five minutes of being in my house, he had an absolute mental breakdown over the color blue. I am not exaggerating. He said that he had a trigger for the color blue. And then if he saw it, it brought back like You're, this. So Blair says, this is my friend. And then just immediately shits on, 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 on uh, Zem. Some sort of PTSD or just something crazy and so he threw a huge panic attack and meltdown in the bathroom. yeah she's making it up and obviously of course everyone was like trying to tend to him and like you know trying to wow wow you sounds like you throw banger parties blair white it sounds like your house is so fucking hostile that nobody can even handle it here's what really happened here's what probably happened right here's what actually happened so a bunch of a bunch like one cool person went over to blair white here watch i'm gonna tell you okay ready watch this Blair White throws a party. She invites uh, a whole bunch of stuffy white people. All of them are TPUSA members and members of the Ben Shapiro Club on campus. And then one really cool queer person decides to show up and uh, and and is like, oh shit, I'm going to a I'm going to a I'm going to a fellow queer's house. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna drop some acid. I bet it'll be fun. So they drop some acid and they walk in and they have the same experience that um they have the same experience that the chapo that uh, what's his name. Um, Will Meneker from the Chapo guys had where he where he uh, dropped acid before going to CPUSA 
and then remember, uh, does anybody remember this story, this little anecdote? Uh, Will Meneker from the Chapel guys dropped acid before going to CPUSA, or before, yeah, before going to C, uh, not TPU, no, for go before going to um, CPAC, CPAC, not CPU, CPAC, and they got confronted while there by TPUSA people. And the TPUSA people, he freaked out. Will Meneker had a freak out because he was like, I thought they were going to eat me. I was, they, I thought they all, they had an evil look to their face and they, I thought they were all going to eat me. And that's what happened. You see, there's a sinister look on the faces of uppity racist white people. So this one queer friend dropped acid and went over to Blair White's house and then saw that there was like a, a, a gaggle of, of, of polo wearing, uh, cannibals that were going to eat, eat, eat them alive. And then, and then they ran. Look at that. I even got the neo pronouns correct. Look at that. It's not so hard, is it? Not so fucking hard. That's what actually happened. That's the real story, by the way. I get him to come out of the bathroom, and, like, it was just a lot. Needless to say, did not hang out with him again. That was a bit much for me. But I say that to say, like, one thing I learned from going to therapy... Yeah, you throw great parties. When somebody has a slightest, the slightest bad trip at your party, you freak out on them and unfriend them permanently. Okay. Okay. And because I did go to therapy after my sexual assault when I was younger to sort of cope with it. Your triggers are not anyone else's responsibility. Like, truly. They are for you and you alone to work through. And it's unfair to put that responsibility on other people. It's not about... It's not about putting the responsibility on other people. See, this is such a sad worldview. Okay, you want to know what? You want to know? Here's a hot take. Ready? I do agree that you should try to take responsibility for your challenges, right? You should. If you have triggers, you should be responsible for them. But you want to know what else? Friends take care of their friends. You want to know what I've done for my friends before? You know, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, I have I have done so much for my friends, and my friends have done so much for me. I had a friend who helped clean up who helped clean up blood off of me when I was injured. Friends take care of each other, and a good friend will be able to understand that you might have a PTSD trigger, and that friend. That's an okay thing, and it's not an obligation. It's just what you do for one another. When you have good friends and you love one another, you take care of each other. You know, what's the, what's the meme? The meme is like a best friend is, is, you know, a friend is, is the person who will, uh, who will drive you home. A friend is, is the girl who drives you home after the party. And the best friend is the girl who holds your hair up while you're vomiting at the party. Right? So you don't vomit on your hair, right? Yeah, that's, that's how, that's how it works. It's the same way that when I transitioned and I wanted people to call me she, like, I did have to put Aww. in a certain amount True, of Mara. effort and work to do that. Like, I wasn't just going to be presenting as male, screaming at my mom to call me oh, she. Oh, now, she, now, now she's desperately trying to say why she's different. I had to put, I had to put work in, so I made it easy for all the people to, to barely to barely gender me correctly. I had to put work in. I'm so different. I'm special. Don't you see? I'm special. Please. Please. Shut the fuck up, Blair. You're sad. You are weak. You are a weak. A weak trans woman. You are weak. Confronted by the Giga Chad Neo Pronoun Embracer. Watch this. Ready? Typical neo pronoun hater versus Chad Giga Chad neo pronoun embracer. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. There's even a better way. I can do an even now. Nah, whatever. Fucking. I don't want to be. Guys, Let's go. Like, I hate her. Got defies. Sorry. I know. I'm doing the same joke again. I know. I know. God is trans girl. I'm doing the joke again, but I have to. I have to. It was too good. I can't let it not be in the video. I had to do the joke again. Come on. Come on. That's what I think about when I think about people who really need everyone to speak a certain way around them and control the way everyone's talking. Like, that's gross. And honestly, the politicization of pronouns have really been one of the biggest downfalls for the trans community. The moment there started to be bills proposed that... What?
would like fine people for misgendering people in the workplace. What? No! Oh no! Oh no! The oh no! She hasn't updated her talking points for four years. Nobody talks about that anymore. Oh no! She forgot. She forgot and enforcing pronoun usage we saw bill c-16 in canada certain ones have happened here but really not as severe um that was the biggest downfall because 2016 like brain like going after them and trying to police the way they talk they're going to get angry and speaking citation needed of trauma like at some point we also have to talk about people who identify as trans due to trauma rather than because they have gender dysphoria or because they are actually trans what What did I just, did I just hear, like, that is like 1800s gender theory. Well, we, we really need to be having a conversation about the trans people who, um, who, um, identify as a woman because of trauma. You know, like Buffalo Bill from the movie Silence of the Lambs? A very realistic and well-studied representation of trans people? I am not a patsy. I am not a token. So recently, Courtney Stodden came out as trans or as non-binary, as a they, them. As a they, them. God, Blair is so motherfucking stupid. God, Blair White is so motherfucking stupid. And has made some headlines from that. If you don't know who Courtney Stodden is, she was a reality star and a media figure, and she rose to fame because she was 16 and doesn't even use the right pronouns. They use they them pronouns. Literally, Blair doesn't even accept non-binary people. Blair is so pathetic. Listen, what you're watching is Blair White, like like age progressing. No, even even more realistic. Blair White rapidly oscillating between a whiny baby and a cranky old person at the at, like at in a rapid at a rapid p pace. Just ee, uh, 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 like just so fast you can't even believe it. Holy shit! I married a sixty-year-old man, and the relationship. Yeah, there we go. Before. We got the we got the we got the crying boomer, crying boomer, crying boomer she was even 16 her mother consented to marry her off to a 60 year old man literal uh, benjamin button in it's like it's like it's like benjamin button if, if benjamin button happened in, over the course of a single second over and over and over again in rapid succession she came out on instagram writing they them theirs i don't identify as she or her i've never felt like i fit in anywhere she goes on to write i was bullied horribly in high school because i was different the other girls never understood me it got so bad that my mom pulled me out of school and still i don't fit in i never really connected based. with anyone my age sounds based I'm to sorry, me but there's really nothing in there that's indicative of being trans like the age thing i don't even get like are you There's nothing in there being indicative of being trans. You mean besides the fact of somebody identifying differently than the ge gender they were assigned at birth? Blair, you're just so stupid. Blair, God, it would be so much easier to be angrier at Blair White if she wasn't so motherfucking stupid. She always looks like a lost, like a, like a lost puppy. But like a puppy that's that's repeat like constantly just pooping on the floor violently and barking constantly. That's Blair. Blair is like like a, a, a like an angry Pomeranian that you have to buy a diaper for. It sucks. Also, trans age like I don't get it. I don't know, dude. It just it seems like a very misguided attempt at assessing some sort of trauma because when you're a 16 year old child bride. And maybe you were bullied in school and stuff. Like, I'd be willing to bet that she has a certain amount of trauma from that. I'm pretty sure she's talked about the trauma that all of that caused. Like, Mary. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got a nice, we got a comment from, from uh, Twitch. Are you transitioning from female to male? If so, your voice is on point. I would not feel comfortable with keeping my long hair like you, but your face is getting there. How long have you been on hormones? You give me hope that one day I can look like a man. Yo, thank you. I, holy shit. I, I can't wait. I hope that you make it there. Hardly nodding. I really hope you get there at some point. And um, for the record, no, I am not transitioning from female to male. 
I am transitioning from human to God. And you have already, you are already witnessing the cocoon phase. I have already entered the cocoon phase. And but a year from now, you will feel my wrath. It won't be long now. I hope that you have uh, made your peace with your family. Because when my wrath comes upon this earth, it will not be pretty. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Uh, bye, 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 bitch. That's what we, see, we ban for people like that. We ban for people like that, see? Getting off so young to an old man. And I see this a lot, people who like join the trans Demon community mama. and their reasoning behind it is to address some sort of trauma they experienced earlier in life. The problem is you're most likely not identifying the actual trauma and healing from it and moving on from it, but using trans as a scapegoat or as a band-aid and it's not gonna work. Also- Using trans as a scapegoat or a band-aid. I would love to understand how Blair formulates these ideas, but I don't think that they're actually complete ideas. I don't think these are complete ideas. What's really not missed on me that in recent years, it seems like a really cheap, easy way to get a lot of media attention for celebrities to come out as they, them, and non-binary and trans and all. Like who? Like fucking who? Do you know what happened? Wait, let's, let's do a quick fact check on that. Do we know... Do you know what happened to Elliot Page when he came out? Does anybody remember what happened to Elliot Page when he came out? Just a tsunami wave of sewage tear comments. Just holy fuck. You can go look at it right now. Just an absolute just tsunami of, 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 of garbage was dumped the way of Elliot. So... I'm sorry, but the idea that it's like a cheap way to score points in the in the in the media by coming out as trans when you're a celebrity is so not true. It's a cheap way to get lots and lots. It's a, it's a fast ticket to get to get death threats. It is a fast ticket to have your name plastered as as some sort of representative of the trans ideology all over every single right wing newspaper in the world. Sorry, but the idea that like trans people get it easy and get free PR by coming out is just so false. So pathetic. All that, and of course it's very convenient to come out as a they them because you don't have to actually commit to any sort of transition. Of course Blair is such a hater. Blair is like such a petty hater. A they them. Oh. Courtney Stodden, Sam Smith, the guy from Queer Eye whose name I can't remember, the one who looks. The person from Qu from Queer Eye, okay, the person. Looks like Jesus. The actor we talked about earlier. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The guy from Queer Eye whose. Is that what Jesus looks like? Is that what Jesus looks like? Name I can't remember, the one who looks like Jesus. The actor we talked about earlier with Tree and Tree Self. And literally just so many more I can't even think of. And Wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Look at this. In the article that Blair White cites, they use the wrong pronoun in the article. In the, in the article. In the fucking article. And Blair is like, oh my God, it's the easiest way to get glowing praise is to come out as non-binary. And the article literally doesn't respect the pronoun. Oh my God. Actor we talked about earlier with Tree and Tree Self. And literally just so many more I can't even think of. And I'm not saying every single one of them is disingenuine, but like, it's a little too convenient that it's just one after another, after another, after another, when you know that if this was 2014 or 2013 before this was even a trend, they would not be coming out. Blair longs for the days of 2014 when she was re when she was more relevant and when she was a happier person. Blair over the last four years has become a shell of whatever she once was. Blair has 
is 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 in the process of of a, you know what have you ever have you ever um have you ever scooped out ice cream out of like an ice cream like a tub of ice cream and you know when you get down to the bottom and it starts to get really hard and you're like ah shit i can't get the ice cream out and you're trying to get the ice cream and some and the and the the tub tears a little bit you know the tub just kind of like tears and you're like ah shit it's all falling apart that's the phase where Blair is at right now, okay? Blair has been shucking out her soul for years and years, and now we're witnessing the 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 tub of 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 soul ice cream tearing open. And and now it's just cavalcating down and from here on out, I don't know if you, I don't know if you all know this, but um but Blair ain't getting any younger. Blair ain't getting any younger. From here on out, it's going to be downhill for Blair. Blair hasn't made a whole lot of friends. Blair hasn't really cultivated a lot of skills. Blair has built her entire career on being the most toxic, toxically feminine, I would say, empty shell of a token for the right. And I'm just going to say, once the only thing that your entire career has been uh, has been built on is gone that is not a happy life to live and no one's gonna come to Blair's aid you know Blair doesn't exactly have a lot of friends these days what a sad life to live imagine just just shucking out your soul every year for nothing only to only to at the end of all of it realize that it was all in vain and that you too will be treated with all of the disrespect and it's gonna get worse. Let me tell you something. I've talked about this before, okay? I've talked about this before. This is a hard fact that Blair White's gonna have to deal with. I don't know if you all know this, but you don't get more feminine as you get older, unfortunately, usually. When you get older, you just, don't, you know, the femininity, the things that are generally associated with femininity don't stick around. You, you, you just, old people, it's just true. Your skin gets heavy. Your bones become more visible. It's just true. Old people are fucking crazy androgynous because our features start to break down. It's just a reality. And for, for, for kind people, wait, wait, but listen, don't stress it. For kind people, it's okay. It is okay to get old, okay? Old people, they're gonna be fine. But for people like Blair White, for, for people crap. like Blair Eight White, stream when they're, when they're there shall be no desperately other clung to beauty starts to fade, in a world like what Blair White fights for, Blair is going to get Le is going to be treated like less of a woman the older that Blair gets. It's very sad, but it's true. If Blair wins the culture war, if Blair's type win the culture war, Blair is going to hit 35 and will be treated like a man for the rest of her life. And that is really sad. I don't endorse this. I want to fight for a world that's different than that. But that's a fact. Sorry, but it's true. And I don't think Blair has thought about that very much. Or rather, I don't know, maybe Blair only thinks about that these days. But this ain't the path. I shudder to think. I just want you to I just want you to try try to under to put yourself in that mind space of knowing that you are a ticking time bomb before the society that you helped create will turn its fangs on you oof oof see me when i'm when i'm old and gray i will be a terrifying demon a respected demon a demon who can give out kindness generosity wisdom and fight you know but blair where is where is blair gonna be where's blair gonna be sad to think about sad to think about like half of a celebrity's job is just to follow trends anyways and this just seems like another one and it's very frustrating that's why i'm not as mad when it's like a kid doing it okay like 
I'm not gonna get upset, but when it comes to these adults, y'all are like slandering trans people by trying to say you're trans and also a tree and a bunny. Like, No, you're not. Again, this is why I hate this argument. The idea, like, it's just such a, it's just so ridiculous. Oh, it's just so bad. Yes, I will. I already have, Spragon. I already have. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. What a sad state of affairs for Blair White. Anyway, I think that's where we'll end it, on this frame. Because this frame actually maybe represents Blair White better than anybody else. A a stupid fool absolutely bumbling her way into the worst world possible for herself and doing so by stepping on every person she possibly can on the way, making every enemy that she can and guaranteeing that she dies lonely and sad, unfortunately. Ah. <sighs>